You've asked for more Hacksmith lightsabers? Let's check it out. We're going to look at I gave Mr. Beast a real lightsaber and it caused a disaster. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry, from engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Let's check this out. Two weeks ago, Mr. Beast DM me on Twitter. He needed a lightsaber for an upcoming video. No problem, I thought, as I reached for our proto saber. Just need By one. By the way, I need two lightsabers. Two? Two lightsabers in two weeks. That wasn't part this of the deal. This took us years to research and develop, <laughs> and six months to build. And now we need a second one? I hope this works out. Oh, that's I mean, you did the first one, so shouldn't take you as long the first time, right? Said everyone optimistic about nuclear technology ever. <laughs> Scared me. Do it again. Did not tell me there was sound effects back then. I'm terrified. And what he yes, doesn't Lee. know is how close we were to ruining his video. And he won't know until he watches this video for the first time, just like you guys are watching it right now. Wait, what? I was. Whoa. All right. The original Proto Saber was freaking awesome. It looked like a lightsaber, it could cut stuff like a lightsaber, and it even sounded like a lightsaber. For those of you who haven't seen my reaction to their Proto Saber, um, I'll pin that one down in the comments below. That was quite the experience. And we're actually auctioning it off next month, but more on that later. But for Mr. Beast, these new lightsabers need to be way simpler, reliable, and last longer. I'm gonna get Bogdan on revising the ignition method. <laughs> <laughs> so tiny. Ben's gonna find a new way to do the lightsaber sound effects, and I'm gonna start working on the backpack so it's less suspicious looking, so I don't get detained at the border trying to bring a lightsaber into the USA. Oh. I actually just got Ooh. detained in customs. We hustled for the next two weeks straight, working wow. late nights, weekends, and drinking many a bubble tea. But- Yeah, I might have to ship it in pieces or something. That, yeah. I mean, it, it's sketchy looking. I'm not gonna disagree with that. It was looking great. Fancy new handle design, all handmade on our lathe, a cool looking backpack, built in speakers, and it worked. Super great. That's hot. This one just looks more like, I know, I know the other one was one as well, but this just looks like a torch. A torch in a shape like that. It's a little, didn't have as many of the sparklies as the other one, but that's, uh, that's interesting. Love this. But this is a faster one. Now, we just had to get them down to North Carolina in time for Mr. Beast's shoot. Uh, yeah. Good luck getting that through the airport. Alright, so fun fact. Did you know the TSA actually allows lightsabers in your carry-on luggage? It says right here. Now, obviously- <laughs> Sadly, the technology doesn't work. Uh, this is, uh, this is funnily edited. It reminded me about the, uh, government budget to build the Death Star. This reminded me of the cost quoted from the White House, I think this was during the Obama administration, of building the Death Star, which was $850 quadrillion. Really? Considering everything that's involved in the Death Star? That's a bargain. Considering it would involve more materials than would exist on Earth, a advanced power source that involves E greater than MC squared for something that small to uh, produce the destructive force of uh, destroying a planet. But anyway, that's uh, <laughs> it's funny how uh, the uh, they can be a little tongue in cheek with this. Also two words, so maybe it just means a regular saber that's light as opposed to a heavy saber. That's more for Disney lightsabers and whatnot. Um, so technically I could probably argue my lightsaber, but I don't think it's gonna fly. And it's a good thing I didn't because I actually just got- I love me some dad customs, jokes. But it was pretty funny. They took me into the holding room and apparently they looked me up and they found my Wikipedia page. So when they asked what I was doing, I said I was going down to meet Mr. Beast to be in a video and use our lightsaber. He's like, yeah, I know you made a lightsaber. And then he asked if I was bringing it with me. I'm like, no, 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 we shipped that down there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully now I can get on the flight. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> My Hacksmith Industries shipping service is going though. So Daryl got us detained at the border, and now James is also detained at the border. Going wild. Yeah. On this whole border stuff and uh, airport security, 
Security at a nuclear power plant is has a similar process for visitors. I can't go into specifics, but you can expect a similar you can expect to be searched in a somewhat similar fashion to uh, going through to through going through uh, airport security, and that's just into what is known as the protected area of the plant. Not not by the control room, not by the reactor. There is an additional level of clearance that you need for that. But this will get you to, say, the turbine building, for instance. Going well. We arrived safely at the hotel, assembled the lightsabers, and made sure we were good to go. And now we're here. Just put All right, check it out. We got the two lightsabers for your okay. video. I'm really excited to show you these things. They're they can have a duel. Awesome. You want to try it out? I mean, obviously I want to try right. it out. Oh, snap. Okay. This yeah, a little bulky. Just literally explode. Yeah, it's it's impossible for it to explode. I I never know anything they're saying. RBMK reactors do not explode, except when they do. But okay. Uh, you're gonna click it all the way down. Don't do it yet. Oh, <laughs> I was about to do it. Again? Oh, that do sound it. scared me. Do it, do it again. You did not tell me there was sound effects. Sound effects and yeah, you it. It's just a, a gas leak, like when you leave it on on your stove, man. <laughs> Mm. Exactly. I'm terrified. <laughs> Bro, I, I got a jump scare for that sound effect. I'm gonna turn the gas there again. Oh my gosh. Move it around a bit. I, I, make sound I'm effects. processing how dangerous this is and just weighing the risk of every movement. This one's a bit shorter than the other one, at least. And this is before he's even cutting through anything with it. Okay, I, I can see this was just a faster job. This is really, it's way hotter than you would think. Are we gonna have a lightsaber? Oh going? yeah, we're gonna have a lightsaber fight. I, I, that feels dangerous. <laughs> Does anyone else? This seems like Hank Hill's weapon of choice. A uh, lightsaber made with a clean burning fuel. And he sells lightsabers and lightsaber accessories. Like a real lightsaber <laughs> duel is Bad like idea. really dangerous. He literally just touched nope. tips. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hot. This is what? insane. I don't even know how to process this. <laughs> and then there he is. Yeah. Let's go. I figured it out. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, this just this one doesn't seem as impressive as the other kind, which I mean, this was again, they were on a timeline and I really liked the aesthetics of that of that proto saber. That was that was a lot cooler as I thought. Whereas this, I mean, yeah, it looks close to the original hilt, but it looks very similar to those cheap plastic ones uh that I'm sure many of you have played with when you were kids. There are times I wish I had one. Bro, this thing goes quick. Fall I call dibs on burning Chris. <laughs> Are these little the head targets? <laughs> Alright, I'm going for Chandler. Really? Who wants to hold these for us? Sorry, Carl. <laughs> hey, Chandler. Oh, God. You're a madman. I love it. And he, yeah, he's holding it with one hand, no types of fire protection, and yeah, you wouldn't be able to bring one of these into a nuclear plant. I mean, even with like welding equipment, you have to have your, your hot work permit um, set up, your uh, no burn zone established, standby attendance. And to be who's so used to um, a large number of safety regulations, one hand, free hand, no, not even wearing gloves, and other hand with a torch is torturing the back of this fake head. And it, it's, it's just quite, quite silly to me. You're next. How much do I have to pay for one of these lightsabers? Can I buy one? Six sixty-nine thousand four twenty. So that's just what the bid starts, right? That's true. Well, that's okay. Cle clearly, a, clearly a meme number. Sixty-nine and four twenty. Wow. You can't actually like. We... Can I buy one? What, how much would I have to pay you to make me one of these glorious machines? Thank glorious you. machines. This is cool. Why don't I have one of these in my house? Why don't you have one of these? Well, you can if you just bid, unless you're an idiot. You know, honestly, like, <laughs> I thought it would be way more gimmicky, but it, like... Maybe with some safety equipment to go with it, sure. I've turned it on and off, like, five times. Like, you can just keep doing it. Yeah. I can just keep going. Like, it shouldn't work this well. Those sound effects. That's so cool. Take him out. It's I'm still not gonna cool. out. <laughs> That's insane. You guys are literally crazy. What are you making me do? Bro, he looks like he has an eye patch now. Yes, no spoilers, but these lightsabers will be used in an upcoming video to light a house on fire full of children. Watch to see it. <laughs>
But wait, wow. I thought you said you almost ruined Mr. Beast's video. Don't worry, it's coming. It's shoot day for Mr. Beast's video. We're getting the lightsabers set up, last minute checks, and then it's out to the ice rink. Why are we at an ice rink? Well, Mr. Beast video is a classic amazing race style video where two contestants are in a race to win $100,000 cash. They need to complete okay. each stage to get closer and closer to that cash prize. The next set of coordinates are inside the safe and the contestants need some way to open it. If only they had some way that was a lightsaber. <laughs> Why do you have this? Oh, I made it. Does the government know? Now, like responsible I mean, young adults, yeah. we arrived early to make sure everything was good to go for when Jimmy showed up. Everything looked great, the lightsabers worked perfectly, so we had some time to kill. Yo, I could stare at this for hours. <laughs> this is the best pair of glasses I've ever worn in my life. You should buy it at packsmith.store. You, know, you made s'mores in this guy before? Oh yeah. To our health? And lightsabers. This might be the first s'more ever cooked by a lightsaber. Now that would be pretty cool. I, uh, not, I do love me some s'mores, and yeah, it's just the right kind of... It's basically a blue... It's a glorified blow, blow torch. It's a glorified blow torch, but hey, why not? It might actually do a better job than a, a regular lightsaber. It might just, you know, get a little too done. It got the job done. Yeah. Now, Ian and I have been friends since high school, and a little competitive. So we decided to have a little race to see who could slide further on the ice rink. I had the genius idea to start on the red carpet to give us some traction before our slide. It took me a moment to realize what we had just done. Okay. The production crew looked like they were going to murder us. My heart sank. We just ruined a Mr. Beast video. We had just smashed weeks and weeks worth of work and potentially ruined a $100,000 shoot. So it has nothing to do with the lightsabers, it's just them doing shenanigans. Wow. See, the safes were laced with gallium to make it faster for the lightsabers to cut through them. But the issue is, when gallium gets cold, it's very brittle. So when the safe fell, mm, it yeah. literally shattered the door. And Mr. Beast was due to arrive in less than 30 minutes. We left into Hacksmith style MacGyver action. We collected all the shards of gallium, borrowed a bowl from the snack bar, and proceeded to start melting it down using our spare lightsaber. I think we can fix this. <laughs> okay, we so you can use this lightsaber to undo your shenanigans. Dustin, one of Mr. Beast's crew, mentioned it took a few hours for the gallium to solidify when they first made the safes. We had minutes to get it back out on the ice. Luckily, the guy who brought the ice for the lightsabers had a genius idea. Use the propane. Propane, turn the tank upside down, getting it really cold when it comes up. Yeah, that's true. Really good idea. Let's see if this works. We grabbed a cutoff off blowtorch go. head, put it on one of our spare propane cylinders, and... An another use for propane. ...started pouring propane onto the gallium. You see, when gas expands, it drops in temperature significantly. And besides making the air in the garage extremely flammable, the gallium starts solidifying. That's actually quite clever. Uh, using something that is normally intended as a heat source as something to remove heat. I like that guy's thinking. That's a great engineering mindset to have, that you can use things in an alternative way if you just kind of turn it the other way around. Or in the case of propane, just not bothering to light it. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be an inflama a uh, flammability and engulfment risk, but I guess if you had to, you had to. It's, <laughs> it's still pretty crazy. Minutes later, it was solid. We got the safe back on the ice with fresh paint and drew on the new cut here marks, and it was like nothing had ever happened. So glad we fixed it. <laughs> Wondering if that was staged. What up, boys? Yo. Hello. A real working lightsaber that they're gonna have to use. Oh gosh, he's, he's going, oh, he's going, boys, he's, he's going. going. Oh, oh we have a real We're gonna cut through that, yeah. Okay. That's right. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh my god. Yes! Now we're there we go. Let's go. Oh. What the oh frick god. just happened? Oh. Wait. This was this one's a lot sillier than the other one. So we almost ruined Mr. Beast's video. Yeah. Yep. The uh the safe door fell. <laughs> Alright, this one was a lot sillier than I was thinking it would be. It was still cool seeing some shorter lightsabers, but this one, yeah, I I still prefer the uh, the proto saber design to this. That one had a lot more full colors. This just seemed like uh, like Hank Hill's weapon of choice. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.